What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Sunday afternoon. About to head out for a little bit, take myself a walk. Uh, just smell the daisies here, I guess. Or smell the roses, whatever they call it. The reason why I wanted to make this video is I know it's been a week or so forth, and I've been trying not to really touch this subject. But as you guys know, we left Afghanistan and out we leave. The Taliban comes back in. In less than like three or four freaking days, they took back over the country. A lot of people yelling at Biden for the withdrawal. Some people yelling at Trump. Because he signed the withdrawal to the begin with. And certain other people, they're like, yeah, so what? But a lot of you guys have been asking the great one what I think about Afghanistan. And why it failed. The great one will let you know how it failed, in my opinion. Now, first off, let me make myself clear. I am not a foreign policy specialist, period. I am not an ambassador. I have never been an ambassador. But I have clearly made my observations and I have came to this conclusion. Now, the conclusion that I've made is the reason why the Taliban was able to take over so quick is because the Afghan army is a bunch of pussies. Okay? Now think about it for a minute. We have been providing the Afghan army with weapons, with uniforms, with gear, with helicopters, with supplies. Everything that can possibly be needed in order to secure the country of Afghanistan. I mean, we pumped in billions and billions and billions of dollars to help out the Afghan army. And they should have held the territory. They should have held it. But yet, in three to four days, they are conquered by the Taliban. There's not, they're not even wearing a uniform. Have you ever, do you know what a, a Taliban uniform looks like? They don't have a military uniform. They're running around wearing t-shirts, shorts, and sandals. I mean, they don't even have a uniform on, you know? Imagine this, the Afghan army was beaten despite the superiority of having American weapons and supplies and gear was beaten by a group of people wearing t-shirts, shorts, sandals, driving nothing but pickup trucks, pickup trucks, and being armed not only with 70-year-old uh, Kalashnikovs, or what most people know them as AK-47s, a lot of them were freaking carrying 1905 infield rifles. Can you imagine that? 1905 infield rifle. I mean, the freaking weapon is over 115 years old. These weapons were used for World War I and yet. And I'm not saying it ain't a great weapon. The infield rifle is an awesome weapon, you know? You know, you can hit a... You can hit a Nat's ass from 600 yards. It's a great weapon, but it's a very old weapon. I mean, can you imagine being beaten with a 1905 infield rifle? Group carrying and a group carrying this? This is nuts. An AR 15 M4 carbines, you know. Modern day weapons from the United States of America being beaten by short wearing, t-shirt wearing, pickup driving, 
Kalashnikov arming, infield arming people. Can you imagine that? There's only one conclusion to it. And some of these uh, people that are hopping up on CNN and Fox News and Newsmax and MSNBC are up there saying, well, it ain't the Afghan army's fault. They're trying to place blame on other extenuating factors saying there's too many of them. Bull crap. The great one will tell you why Afghanistan fell as far as the army is concerned. The reason why they fell is because while they had our weapons, they had our supplies, they had our gear, they had our aircraft, they had our vehicles, the one thing that we failed to do is teach them American values. That's right. Weapons are only as great as the people that are carrying it. We didn't teach them American values. When it comes to America, we've been beating ass since 1776. We beat the British's ass here. We shot them from forests. I mean, hell. We'll fight anyone. It doesn't matter. When it comes to Americans, you know, we'll fight and shoot at anything. We'll shoot at grocery stores. We'll get in a fight at football fields. We'll fight each other out in the streets. We'll fight each other at the dry... I mean, we'll fight, or, we'll fight anyone anywhere. We don't care. That's American values. We, we know how to... De we know how to carry out war. You know what I'm saying? It isn't the weapons. It's just us. We're wishing for someone to start something with us. Hell, when they flew two building, when they flew two airplanes, excuse me, into our trade tower buildings, look what we did. We were so pissed off at Afghanistan, we took over Iraq just to let Afghans know that, hey, this is what we are going to do to you. We use Iraq as an example to let the Afghans know, hey, you flew those planes into our buildings, so watch and see what we do to them before we come and get you, period. And I mean, we're so angry at a point to where we don't even need two planes to fly into two big buildings. Heck, if someone so much as flies a Cessna into a Burger King, We'll blow a hole so big into the country that it will sink to the bottom of the ocean. You can't, it, it's pretty clear that you can't teach American values. Weapons are only as good as the crazy mug that is carrying it. And nobody is crazier than Americans. We blow up things. We kill things. We take care of business. Not business, business. And that's what the Afghan army failed to do. They ran whenever the Taliban came. Americans don't run, period. We don't run. We'll go after anyone that messes with us here. You know what I mean? We can come back to Afghanistan and in two days, we'll have that country on lockdown. Either that or we'll put a crater into it so big, again, we will sink Afghanistan to the bottom of the ocean. You'll be looking on a globe, turning the wheel, turning that globe and everything like that, and like, why is there water where there used to be a country? Oh, that's right, America went and sent it to the bottom of the ocean, period. So, I hope this all makes sense to you, as far as the reason why the Afghan army failed against some t-shirt, shorts wearing, sandal wearing. And hell, one thing about America is we hate people in sandals. I'm just gonna let you know, we absolutely hate people in sandals. So we have all the more reason to take care of business. But that's all I gotta say today, people. I hope this has made clear sense. Like I said, I'm not a foreign policy specialist. I am just an observer of these things, period. And don't forget to smash that like button. Smash the like button and support the Vince Goodrum channel.
Peace.